Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to week three of Collect Day's reveals for 2022. We only have one figure this week, and I think we only have one more to go after this one next week. And this week's figure, we have an Edmontosaurus Regalus 140 scale deluxe. Uh, this one was actually leaked a few days ago via, I think it was another animal toy forum or something. They leaked this one, and next week's figure... We're going to be getting a deluxe Triceratops Horridus as well with an articulated jaw. So I'm about 99% sure that's what we're getting because the Edmontosaurus turned out to be true from that forum post. Uh, I've actually, I low-key dig this one. I really do. I think this is the best one that we've seen this year so far outside of the Cooperoceros from last week. Uh, so far, no theropod reveals from them, which... I'm honestly really happy with because if you're they're not doing bases then they're just gonna have weird looking legs and disproportional feet and probably not be able to stand anyway like the Megalosaurus and Naovenator that I have. Um, <laughs> anyway, and Montosaurus Regalis is one of my favorite hadrosaurs and this right here, honestly, it's the best in Montosaurus figure we have on the market right now. It's gonna be big, it's over a foot long being 140 scale, which is pretty darn cool. So far, once again though, the detail doesn't look great here for a figure that's that big. It looks well detailed, but the scales look too big, and especially the ones on the neck. Now we do have many, uh, oh I just got an email pop up, go away, alright, I want to look at the picture, thank you. Always an interruption in these videos, right? That's why it's casual Spino Dino. Anyway. The scales on the neck in particular look absolutely massive here, and I did look up some pictures, and there are some paleo artist interpretations of Edmontosaurus regalis with huge scales running up the side of the neck. So I'm wondering if this is some integument that we have impressions of, because we have a lot of scale impressions of Edmontosaurus, and quite a few mummies of it as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, I got to see one of the Edmontosaurus and Nectons mummies when I went to the American Museum of Natural History over a year ago now, which is really cool. So we definitely can infer as to what this animal's integument looked like for the most part, and um, I'm gonna need to look into it a bit more and refresh myself because those giant scales on the neck did catch me off guard, but like I said, I have seen some artist interpretations actually having those, so I'm assuming that's a thing that we know of right now. One thing that's awesome that this figure does have is hooves on the front feet. We just recently, in the past, I think it was within the past couple years, we just found a mummified front limb from an Edmontosaurus, and it had a large hoof like that on the front, which is, it's really cool and that Collecta incorporated that. Also, uh, this figure does have the fleshy comb on the top of its head that Edmontosaurus regalis is known for. Uh, I personally, I like Edmontosaurus regalis. It's one of my favorite hadrosaurs, like I said. I prefer it over a Nectins, personally. But, I do have to agree with my friend Gibson that it is a shame that we don't have any figures of Edmontosaurus and Nectins out on the market. I, like I said, I'm not complaining at all because I like Regalis more, personally. I like the little fleshy coom on its head. I think that's a cool visual thing. But, it would have been cool if we got an Anectans, a, a huge deluxe Anectans to go with some T-Rex and trike figures that we have out on the market right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about this one. Oh, the colors! I forgot to mention the colors completely. Um, the colors are okay. I know some people low-key dislike them. I kind of dig the colors. In a way, they could have been way more interesting, I totally agree, and they're not my favorite thing in the world, but I know people don't like the green on it, but I don't know, I, something about the green, I just, I kind of like it. Mixed with the red fleshy coom on the back of the head, it does feel a little festive in a way, also with the white underbelly, but it's not in an overly distracting way like the feathered T-Rex from Collect Day, where it just is like, okay, this thing is a Christmas advertisement. <laughs> I just think the general palette works better on this one, and I, I kind of dig it. I, I Yeah, I, I just like it. And I really like Collect Day's Deluxe Iguanodon that they did for 2018. So I hope this one turns out just as good detail-wise and paint-wise in hand, because this will be a definite pickup for me. Anyways, that's it for this week. 
Uh, look forward to next week when I am 99.999% sure we are going to be talking about the final figure for Collect Day's 2022 reveals, which is their Deluxe Triceratops. And I hope we have an extra week from them, but by the looks of it, doesn't look like we will, and that's it. So, very small year from Collect Day. Nothing incredible from them so far that is just like, oh, I need to have that. It's just sort of like, yeah, I'll, I'm probably going to get the Edmontosaurus if it turns out good. Probably going to get the Cooperosaurus. Might get the Geosternbergi if it turns out good. Nothing's really like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. It's just solid stuff. Some solid things we've got here. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let me know what you think of this one down below. Take care, and bye-bye. <laughs>